Hey there everybody, this is Vanessa DeBerle and today we're going to talk about how to start affiliate marketing. A lot of people want to do affiliate marketing but they're not really sure what to do and what steps to take. One of the things I want to do in this video, because I know most of you are new, you wouldn't be watching the video if you weren't, but one of the things I want to do in the video as well as cover four topics and I'll tell you what those are in a minute, but I also want to talk about what not to do because I have made some mistakes and I feel like some of those mistakes cost me money or they cost me time. So I'm going to share some of those with you and hopefully that'll help you gain some of your money back and some of your time. Okay. One for the topics that we're going to cover is what is affiliate marketing, how to pick a niche. And I'll show, tell you exactly what that is, how to find a product to go with that niche niche because you're, you're selling affiliate products. Well, so how do I find them? And a lot of people say, go to Amazon. Um, that is one way, but there are other ways and then how to drive, traffic which is kind of like drive your customers to you so that you can get that money and sell those products now number one what is affiliate marketing affiliate marketing is when you as the affiliate marketer you find somebody who has an affiliate marketing program so for me one of the places that i use is a place called udemy um, i talk a lot about email marketing on my youtube channel and you can go there to buy emails for to help you get started because it's hard to start an email marketing business and build an audience when you don't have anybody to market to so some people to start might go buy about 2000 of their first emails and then from there let it happen organically and i talk about that and that's a place that i have a partnership with that company pays me 15% of all sales that are made through people that use my link. And how do you get that link? First of all, you want to contact a company. Well, I, I want to get into that later about contacting companies because I want to go within your niche. We're going to pick a niche today. Um, but basically, you go to the company and you say, I want to become an affiliate marketer. And they say, OK, you fill out the paperwork and all this. And then they give you a special link. And anytime you talk about that product, you don't send them directly to a click funnels or Udemy, you, you send them using your link. And when they open it, it looks like Udemy or it looks like click funnels, but click funnels has a little special chip connected to your name with that link and says, if this person spends any money, Vanessa gets 15%. If it's with click funnels, she gets 30%. So that's how you make money in a nutshell. Okay. So I just want to kind of bring here. That's me in the blue. Um, I have a, a partnership, an affiliate marketing contract with ClickFunnels. I have one with Udemy and I have one with Loomly as an example. These are all software tools that go within my niche. My niche is to help people start an affiliate marketing business, how to make money online doing that. And so I like to promote the software tools that I use. That's going to help people make money online, creating an affiliate marketing business. Does that make sense? So that's why I'm sharing these links because it goes within my niche. And I have a link to all three of these as an example, I have a lot more, but this is an example of some of the ones that I have. And anytime somebody goes there, I promote um, these different software tools. I promote them through my blog. I promote them on my YouTube channel. And when I talk about them, other people will search, they find it, and then they hit the link to get more information. So basically what is really wonderful about this is you put out content to share about these different software tools. Let's say somebody signs up and then they have trouble with the software tool. So let's say somebody goes to Loomly and they're, Loomly is a, a social media scheduler tool, okay? I'll put all three of these links below if you wanna go look at them and see what they are. But it's a tool to schedule your um, link, your content um, on Facebook and Instagram and all those different places. And what if you got it and you're not sure how to use it? Well, you don't come to me and say, how do I use it? You go to Loomly because they're the pros, it's their product. Um, let's say you decide you, aren't happy with the product and you want a refund, you go to them. So my point in saying all that is you don't have to worry about customer service. That is one of the biggest advantage of doing affiliate marketing is I will give you all the information I know, I share it and I'll show you how I share it and at the, before this is over. And then the company steps in once you sign up and helps to support you in any way that you need. So that in a nutshell is affiliate marketing. Now, just to give you an example, I have some links here. Um, these are different products that I have, um, different affiliate links, um, and I keep them on a spreadsheet. 
uh, here are that's that, that's all the uh, companies and then over here I keep a lot of my affiliate links and I just keep building onto those um, I go through them every once in a while um, and just try to make sure you know if it's something that maybe people aren't buying they're not interested in I might just leave that company um, so we'll talk about all that so that's affiliate marketing in a nutshell okay so you're promoting other people's products and you're generating income based on somebody else's product. So you don't have to worry about developing a product. So that's the number one advantage of affiliate marketing. Now let's go to number two. I, you heard me talking about a niche or some people say a niche. I say niche, um, I may be wrong. Um, but a niche is what are you going to build your business around? Like Coca-Cola sells Coca-Cola products and they're all soft drink products. They're not selling um, bed spreads, right? Now they may later in their business when you get really big, then you might have a brand and then you pop it on other products. But that's what Coca-Cola has done. So that's probably not a good example. But basically, you know them as selling Coca-Cola pro products, soft, soft drinks. Coca-Cola products are soft drinks, all right? So they're not selling milk. They're not selling lemonade, they're selling soft drinks. And that's what they're known for. So if you ever see commercials, that's what they're talking about. So you need to pick a niche, something that you enjoy talking about. And you you might say, well, but such and such is more profitable. Like let's say the health industry, the health and wellness industry is very popular. It's a very popular industry to get into. And you might say, well, maybe I should get in that because I'll be successful. Well, maybe you shouldn't if you're not interested in it. Does that make sense? Don't pick something just because you can make money. I would rather make less money doing something I thoroughly enjoy talking about than making more money and hating my work every day of the week. So you want to pick something you're going to enjoy. And that's another advantage of starting your own business. You get to choose what you want to promote. Now, I'm going to give you an example, okay? I'm going to get out of the health industry because... Plus, it's extremely competitive. And I'm not saying you can't enter it. I'm just saying it's very competitive. Let's look up um, how to start a dog business. Now, one of the things I want you to look at on the screen is right here. When I said how to start a dog business, right here, do you see how many searches are made about this? I think it's in the trillions. After the billions comes the trillions, right? One trillion searches. So people love dogs. I have a friend that has a dog breeding business and she started it back up after a couple of years of, of not doing it and just picks up just like that. Um, so it was very interesting. Um, people love dogs and you might, so what I would suggest, okay, you know, you could start something with a dog business, but let's narrow it down a little bit more. I just said how to start a dog business. How do I start a dog business? training business maybe you're really really good with dogs and you you're, you have several yourself and you really have a, a gift for training them your dogs are very obedient and you're just really good at that so that might be your principal niche right that's now can you talk about grooming can you talk about caring for them what kind of dog food to eat and all that absolutely but you want most of your messaging to be around training you want people to say that's the training guy or that's the training girl. I, I want to go to her and find out what her tips are, his tips are. So now it's it's narrowed down a little bit. Now we're at 742 million. So not as many, but still a lot. Let's narrow it down some more. We could narrow it down again. How to start a business training German Shepherds. And now we're at 22 million. That's probably a better niche to get into. So Maybe you have a certain breed of dogs that you love at home. Um, use your dog and build your business around that. So that just gives you an idea. The main thing, you want to make sure people are searching for it and you want to make sure it's something that you love. And it's that simple, really. Dogs are going to be around forever. It's a very good niche. Um, you could, if you love music, you could start a business uh, talking about piano playing maybe you're very good at playing the piano you can make youtube videos training people how to play the piano um, it can be done and and then you have products that you can sell around that niche now we're going to talk about dogs i'll stick with this but now you say okay i found my niche we're going to do how to train german shepherds okay um training for german shepherds well how does how do products come into that now remember that's your main focus but from there, you can talk about what kind of dog food that you that you recommend or what kind of leash you recommend. Anything that's related to dogs, this is where the products come in. So now I'm, I just searched um, 
Oh, this was how to start a daycare business. Let me go here. That's what I wanted to look for. Oh, here. Ah, we got mixed up there. Okay. This one is um, how to uh, best dog products affiliate programs. So anytime you want to know, you're looking for an affiliate program, type in affiliate program for dogs or affiliate program for cats or affiliate programs for music, affiliate programs for art, affiliate programs for email marketing, and then you'll get a list. And that's basically how we find them. Um, another thing, you might be reading a blog um, about dogs and you might see a product that you like a lot, or maybe you're on Amazon and you're like, man, I really like this product for my dogs. It's really worked well. Look it up, find out what the brand of the product is and search. Does this company, blah, um, dog whistle company have an affiliate program? And you will find that a lot of companies won't. They'll say, we used to have an affiliate program. We don't anymore. Or they'll say, we have an affiliate program. Sign up here. And that's how it all gets started. And then you want to talk about those products and talk about training your dog all together. And you're probably thinking, where the heck am I going to talk about this stuff? And I'll tell you that in just a moment. But this is what you do to find the affiliate programs and then go into each one and see if they have products that you like. Now, training dogs and doing affiliate products for dogs, you're going to want to make sure you have a couple items on there that are higher price and then a few things that are lower price. Well, with any program that you do, um, you can trickle in your money. You know, you could sell a $30 product and make 30% and you're going to be making $10 on each product. And yes, once you get thousands of sales, that's a lot of money, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're going to make a thousand sales really fast. It takes time. So that's why I recommend find a couple products that are higher priced, like maybe a hundred dollars, $200 and promote those as well. Cause there are people that do want other products. Uh, my friend with the dog, she has this great big kennel that she bought. And I, I don't remember how much she paid for it, but it was more than a hundred dollars. So you, you want to have a variety. And I, I would suggest starting out, maybe start out with five products. I started out and I was all over the place and it was just too much and I really didn't get to know each product. So I've kind of brought everything back and I started picking out my favorites and I've made a lot of content about maybe five at a time and then I'll go on to the next batch and make content for those. So this is where the next question comes in. How do I drive traffic to my products? How do I get people to see my products. We well, kept hearing me say, talk about this, talk about that. Blogs and YouTube. I'm going to sit here and tell you are the best two ways. I know there's a lot of people that will swear by Facebook and I'll show you how you could use Facebook. Um, I'll, I'll start with that one. If, if that's where you want to start, you could go into Facebook groups where people who love dogs are in there and just start communicating with people and building up relationships and believe me, before you know it, they'll know that you love German Shepherds and you've been talking about training in there and they'll say, oh my gosh, you know, could you give me some advice? And then you could direct them to your blog and to your YouTube. Yes, go to my YouTube channel. I've got this whole playlist about that problem or go to my blog. I've got a whole series of emails, uh, blogs about that. Now, again, you're saying, well, so what? I brought them to my YouTube or sent them to my blog. How am I making money doing that? Well, let me bring one up. I, I found this one. So you want to start a, a dog daycare business, and this is a blog. But in their in their blogs, see where all the highlighted articles are? One, they're redirecting you to other articles that they've written. One of the way you get really good analytics on a blog is to keep people on your website. So you want them to keep reading. So here they are reading, 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 and they're talking about the pet industry business right here. Well, when you click that, you go to another blog that they wrote and it keeps you in there. Now, some of these links are also going to products. So you have to look at them, but some of them are, are going directly to a product and some of them are keeping you in the website and taking you to blogs. Um, here's another I want to show you an example of YouTube. This person on YouTube, this is one, it's one of the first uh, sites that I started to follow. It's called Think Media. And there's actually three people that run it together, but Sean, the one in the middle there is, is pretty much the head guy, I guess you could say. But everything they write on their YouTube channel has to do with products and equipment, 
or anything that has to do with media. Um, if you're looking for lighting or a good camera or anything like that, right away I think of this site because I know that's what they specialize in. The reason I'm bringing this up is you don't want to specialize in something and then off the handle start talking about something else because your audience that starts to subscribe to you they want more information they're like i really like their blog i really like their youtube channel i'm going to subscribe and i want to see what else they have will they love everything you have absolutely not you might have some people that will follow you for a month and say i don't want to follow this person anymore and that's okay not everybody in the world's going to love you so know that right now um, people who want what you have will follow you and that's how you start to build an audience and they'll start to trust you well like you first and then they'll start to trust you and then they'll start hitting your links that when you start talking about other products and so that's how it works there is a lot of layman's work a lot of foundational work to build up your blog and your youtube channel i would recommend personally to do one or the other one at a time i started my youtube channel first and after i got monetized that was my goal then i started my blog so i have more on my youtube channel than i do on my blog and that's okay it, over time it'll keep building and building and building and here's the beauty of it it stays there all those conversations that you had in facebook and you met some friends you made some contacts that's great maybe you even led them over to your youtube channel or to your blog but everything you said in there is gone within a day right um people will engage with you and then all of a sudden that information's gone it's history and it gets swept away but your youtube channel and your blog stays there forever and people will keep looking for your information they'll keep seeing your links and you keep making money and that's when your business becomes passive income or what we call evergreen okay that means it's forever there um let's move on have a an article about how to increase your email open rates and in there I on my blog I always put my YouTube video that matches that topic if I have one and then whatever I'm talking about I think this one I was talking about active campaign right here um, I probably need to make it bigger but there's a link right here I could write you know in between these two paragraphs put a big active campaign thing but basically if somebody hits that link I've told them you know how to find what was the title how to get in, how to increase your email open rates somebody reading this might say well I don't even know what email marketing is so within there that's when you insert other articles so if I write another do another video about what is email marketing I could make a blog post out of it and then link it to this so, so do you see how everything starts to connect and it keeps people in your content so that your your goal is to get them to hit one of your affiliate marketing links and that's how that works now when you create content some people say well I don't even know what to do when I create content when you create content there's five different ways and I'm going to go over them very briefly because I've made a video about this but one is you want to make a review review the product so let's say you have a product and it is um let's go back to the dogs let's say you have a dog leash I'm going to use that I know it's a small priced item but that's okay you have a dog leash you could do a review on the dog leash and say this is everything it does this is the best one out there I love it this is why it's fantastic and you make a blog post or a YouTube video about it and everybody knows how wonderful it is you can then start make a list of all your competitors what are all the other dog leashes out there that are competing with the one that you like and then you can start comparing them you can say i am like i i, I compare uh, social media schedulers okay i have one that says hootsuite versus buffer and that actually is one of my best performing videos that i've made but i'm comparing two different things in the end i actually don't recommend either one of them i have a third one i recommend but because both of those one is very cheap one is very expensive and then I recommend the one in the middle which you can get some of the better features at a small cost so I compare though you know different different um, items the next one is you can say um, you can have a video or a post that says the best leash in the world or the best leash in 2020 and then explain why is it the best 
And it's almost like the review, but you're just rephrasing it differently. Here I'm doing a tutorial or I'm doing a view review. Now I'm telling you why it's the best. It just, it's just mentally gets more people to keep reading it. Then you can start, um, you could do a demo. So let's say I am promoting my active campaign um, that I just brought up earlier and I'm promoting that and I could do a demo like this is how it works. Um, you could do a demo with your leash. You could go outside and make a video of you using the leash with your dog, why you like it. Here are some of the features of why this one is better, why I like it. And then finally, you can come up with problems. Why is this leash good? What are some of the problems? Well, right away, I'm not, a, a, I don't walk my dog. We live out in the country, so no, my dogs don't have a leash. But I remember when I did take my dog for a walk when I lived someplace else and it kind of choked him. So maybe you can say this leash is great. Are you tired of choking your dog when they try to run off? Maybe this leash is better because it doesn't do that. It doesn't pull on their neck or it doesn't, or maybe it's one that's like a harness and it doesn't pull on them. It's very comfortable, but maybe the handle's more comfortable. Maybe there's, um, the leash is too long. You know, you can talk about that being a problem and, or how you want to adjust the leash. What are, what are the things that your product, what are the problems that it solves? Now you don't want to even do all of those. Say you came up with five problems. That's five different pieces of content that you can make. And every single time you're directing them to your link so that they'll click it and buy your leash. So that's what we have for, um, affiliate marketing and how to get started step by step. I do have an affiliate marketing guide with four steps. Um, Pretty much some of the things I talked about are in the guide. So go down in my description. There's a free guide for you to look at. It's 43 page ebook actually. And I do go into more detail in some of those things, but it will help you get your head wrapped around what you should do. Now you, you, you're probably thinking, well, you told me there were things you told me not to do. I would not, I would not try to do a blog and a YouTube channel at the same time. I would pick one. If you love to write, do that one first. And if you don't like to write as much, do the YouTube channel. I can write, but it's not my favorite thing to do. And I'll be honest with you, I take my videos and I have somebody else transcribe them and turn them into blogs for me. I go over them and add some links and things. And periodically I go in and add and add and add, but, um, Basically, I don't sit and write them and format them because it's not the way I want to spend my time. So pick one or the other and get really, really good at it and just be where you're at. I always say um, prosper where you're planted. So wherever you are, do your best from that position and grow from there. Okay. Don't get caught up in looking at everybody else and wishing you were someplace else. Just be where you're at. All right. And the second thing is I would not throw affiliate marketing links all over Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all of that. I was taught that in the beginning and I regret it. And I did it probably for the first six months. Um, I have a friend that was doing it with me. We were, we met actually in a training and, um, we, we built our business together. We kind of went off in different directions. She went into doing something else, but we laugh about it now. Remember when we were doing that, we were spending hours putting these posts out and that's not the way you do it. I don't care who tells you they're going to tell you, well, it's free. It's, it's just, it's not going to make you a lot of money. You'll, you'll trickle in. It's like having a paper route. Okay. You want to be in charge of the production. You want to be up there in managerial position, making the money. Um, you don't want to be delivering the paper. Okay. So that's all I have today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I do appreciate you. If you got this far, I appreciate you watching the video and I will see you on the next one.